Well, before I can start, let me tell you what. Um, I was told about three months back that I'll be speaking at this event called TEDx, and uh, I haven't made my presentation yet. I mean, um, now it's ready though. It lasts what, like what, uh, half an hour, one hour? And uh, basically, I was very confused on, you know, what exactly should I speak on because it's like digitalizing India. And uh, I'm not, you know, very much of a digital person. Will you please put on the slideshow already? I don't have really too many words to speak. I'm just making it out. Uh, all right, so I'll tell you in the meantime about me. So I have been a very, very bad student all my life. I mean, never scored above 60%, every father's nightmare. The guy no neighbor wants, you know, next door. The, no, the guy no kid wants to play around with. Um, basically because I spoil everything, nearly everything, not everything. And uh, I started spoiling, <coughs> starting from my college. When I entered my college, uh, thanks to my 12th marks, I was in a pretty, pretty, well, we don't have much liberty of the words around here, so, uh, you know, a different college. And uh, what it did to me was, put me into a kind of depression, you know, where you see people all around you, uh, and they don't have much of the dreams, right? So, I had a dream of doing something different, not in academics, different as in, you know, which no one does. Uh, I did a few things for which I was usually suspended from college, but that's another story. <laughs> well, so today I'm going to speak about you in particular, because you know, everyone has been telling you around, nearly everyone has been telling you around that you are the future, you are the future, blah, blah, blah. My friends, you're not the future, you're the present. You're living right now, right? And you would have been future if you would have, you know, started your life when you were 60 years old. But mathematically, you're born when you are zero years old. So don't wait for, you know, even 70 or 80. What I'm saying is, uh, I'm trying to tell you how are you your controller, your only controller? So, all right, sorry. The first thing is that uh, project is colors are pretty faded. So, I'll just read it out. So, it's a startup country. Everything in your life is not very different from an investment. You know, you invest time, you invest money, you invest everything to groom yourself, to present yourself, to speak to others, to ask a girl out. Everything you spend time and resources, right? You are going to take every decision, every single decision of your life as if it were a critical decision for your startup. Repeating, your life is a startup. You have to decide anything. Decide it like a strategy game, you know. Uh, how many of you have played games like Age of Empires or Zoo Tycoon or something like that? Even Farmville, I consider it a strategy game. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's what we are talking about, you know. Think about this. If I have a competition with someone else, what are the resources available in front of me right now? Let's say that I have five people with me. With me. I can collect food, I can collect gold. Which one would you go for, food or gold? Food. Why? How many of you do not love money? Raise your hands. No one. <laughs> if you love money, you have to think very carefully. How do you divide five people so that you have a valid ratio of both food and gold? I never said that you have to put all the five people on a single resource, right? So stop thinking, what everything do you have? How much do you need to put after something? For example, uh, how many of you are in first year or second year of your engineering? Oh, quite a lot of people. What about others? Finally, Finally all right. So that would relate to you actually, you know. So, you know, this is a kind of trend that most of the crushes happen in the first three years. Not much in final year. <laughs> so, in the first three years, 
you have every kind of resource that is available in front of you, right? It's just your priority, you decide that I have to give it my 24 hours or just 23 hours chasing behind it a lot of it, right? In my case, a girl, sorry. So, think of your life as a strategy game. Right on, so. <laughs> I mean, this is nothing new, but this is absolutely true. Uh, because when you are studying, you know, uh, the kind of syllabus that is given to you or anything that has been taught to you is not exactly what you would call fact. That's just author's perspective of how it sees, right? So, if someone wants to tell you sun is a hot ball, or someone wants to tell you sun is a sphere of gases, or someone tells you that sun is just a nuclear reactor with fusion happening at an excellent rate, they're just giving you this perspex, uh, perspection, sorry. And how many books do you refer for a subject? <laughs> Only one. <laughs> However, that limits you to the perspective of only one author. If you read multiple books from on the same subject by different authors, you get different definitions in every single line. Even if you read the same story by two different authors, you'll get entirely different perspective. How many of you were into Robin Hood? You know, read the stories of Robin Hood? How many of you have read more than five different kinds of stories of Robin Hood? Because they were all by different authors. In some, Robin Hood is a hero. In some, Robin Hood is a villain. In some, he gets a girl. In some cases, in most cases, he doesn't. Right? So, doesn't matter why Robin Hood's story was true or false. What matters is, you know so many different stories about Robin that you can find out none of them is true. Right? So, another thing is stealing the technology. It's pretty sad that, you know, I tried to make it red in color, it's not visible, but I'll just read it out. It's S-T-E-E-L-I-N-G, not S-T-E-A-L-1. So, what do I mean by stealing the technology? Uh, when I say stealing, I mean look at the other's technology. Others work, sorry, politically correct. Look at others work, try to do it yourself, find out where you were failing, find out where he was failing, make something new. That is how you invest your time in the life. Not everyone can be innovator. I do not expect you to come up with an innovation in a half an hour or maybe in, a, in your lifetime, right? I do not expect everyone over here to write a paper, publish, paper, you know, even get the patents or the copyrights. But I know that all of you will be stealing papers and you know presenting them somewhere or the other. And that time, you know, it's it's okay. We understand, you know, that you you do not really want to invest your time. But how about going just one step ahead and finding out what new could you add to that existing paper or existing discovery? You know, right now, just one person in the audience can come up and tell me, I rediscovered fire. How? You rediscovered fire from a totally different source. You may create fire out of nowhere. You may create fire out of thin air, right? But at the end of the day, yes, you rediscovered fire. And <coughs> next part is, um, all right, love, break up, and love again. What it does to you is, uh, it teaches you how to talk to different people, right? You start realizing that there's more than just one person for you. Sorry. <laughs> you even realize, you know, that every other person is different. Because you do not invest your time on one particular person, you actually understand what are the different needs of different people, right? Two people are not entirely different, two people are not entirely same. They are just two big subsets with a lot of common intersected properties, right? Meeting a lot of people actually helps you understand this intersection and the non-common area. You come to know what things you should say and then you should take the temperature of the room before speaking something. Only possible if you love, break up and love again. Yeah, and break up is very important. It should at least happen to you once. 
because it teaches you that you are all alone and through that you start becoming self dependent you start seeing the world as it were you start seeing the world that since you are all alone and you have to survive you come up with tactics you come up with things no one ever thought before you start stalking in most innovative ways right and this is possible only if you get hurt personally on a lot of levels then be selfish it's very good for health <laughs> you have to be selfish at times you know because being selfish helps you gather the resources that you can later on spend on someone else being selfish actually teaches you a lot of other things like i can't remember sorry <laughs> just kidding uh, so being selfish teaches you honesty to yourself until unless you accept that you are selfish you cannot proceed in life when it's time of promotion you become selfless the other person will become your boss in project viva right you become selfless the person sitting next to you will take marks right being selfish does not mean stop helping others until unless you are selfish you will not have enough power to even help others if you are selfless all your life the time is short stay full stay stupid totally look someone said someone really intelligent said stay hungry stay stupid do it even if you stay full you will stay stupid what you need is to be half hungry you need to realize yourself that after 3 hours you will need to eat again you need to stay hungry for your thoughts you need to stay hungry to invent something new if you are full you'll never do that all right then make imaginary friends and hallucinate there's nothing wrong with being called crazy trust me you'll love it so be crazy think of the things that don't even exist write them on a paper make drawings do anything absolutely anything that teaches you the value of imagination hallucinating see ghosts in the air doesn't really matter it's fun just uh um, another important thing is create a revolution teach other people that you have guts have power to create something new even if you are a hero or a villain really doesn't matter you will get the job done my favorite revolution of to this whole era is this the whole poker face big ghost chap forever alone these meme faces these rage faces which have help uh, broadcast the news way faster than even twitter right twitter can tell you about events is these memes that tell you about people right you realize that how stupid you look when you make a duck face that would have been possible and other thousands of pictures would have been you know destroyed if these cartoon characters did not tell about them uh i would like to finish up with a quote from mortal combat there is no power there is no knowledge that is not power uh with this um I thank you for your time. Wake up. Presentation is over. <laughs> And just I want to tell you something. Um, frankly, we have in India a concept of you know study very hard in the twelfth. You will have to end up in an IIT <clears throat> or an NIT. Then you have to take a MBA from IIM and you know ISD and get a good career. You know I really really hate Sir Ken. the guy who was you know you saw the video over here mr ken rock sir ken robinson if i'm not wrong right he said everything i wanted to say um he focused on one thing you know the job thing don't fall for it try to create something new until unless you are going to create something new we are still going to live in a country where jobs are outsourced 
Okay? You have to start outsourcing the jobs to the country. That can never happen until unless you are going to decide that today from this time I have to have an idea. I have to have an idea to start a company or you know start an NGO or start something that is going to change scenario. Not now, maybe not after 10 years, maybe not after 20 years, but at some point of time, you're going to live in a country that is developed, that is actually digitalized. Right now, with this current situation, we don't really see it even in 50 years. Keep dreaming of 2020, my friends. If you land up in a job, reduce that year, or oh, sorry, increase that year over year with every person. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it that you guys invited me. Thank you.